Now, this is kind of like the first problem, right? Let's pretend I give you a vertex and a point, right? And I say, what is another point? Now, even if you didn't know the, well, if you knew the vertex, what you could do is rewrite this in vertex form by completing the square, then plug in your h and k and plug in x and y, right? But you'd have to write that in vertex form first. However, is there a way to do that? Is there a way to find another point just by having this equation? Yes? Oh, you can see since um, both, like, out across the axis of symmetry, both sides are the same, or, well, they follow the same path, so you could find the cor uh, corresponding point to 3, comma, negative 1. If you guys remember, now, obviously, I know the axis of symmetry because I gave you the vertex. But I know on the problem, I didn't give you the vertex. But could everybody find, I'm not the vertex, the axis of symmetry. Could everybody find the axis of symmetry? Hopefully. Axis of symmetry is x equals opposite of b divided by 2 times a. So in my example, it was opposite of b, which is positive 8, divided by 2 times 2, which equals 4. Equals 2, thank you. So x equals 2. So let's go and graph this. So without even knowing that that's the vertex, I know the axis symmetry is 2. Now let's plot this point, 1, 2, 3, negative 1. Ladies and gentlemen, remember when we're graphing, if we graph points on the left-hand side, we can reflect them over the right-hand side, right? So if I know that's a point, then I know that this point has to also be a point, right? It's reflection about the y-axis. So another point would have been 1, comma negative 1. And that's all I expect you guys to do. You didn't have to have the vertex up there, but yes? Um, did I pick the point? Is 3 comma negative 1 not even on the graph? Well, you can plug it in. I guess right. Did I choose a problem? Oh, shoot. I think I might have chosen the wrong problem. Or I might have used the wrong one. I think I did. No. It works. Oh, the vertex is up here. The vertex is at over 2, down 3. 1, 2, 3. There's the vertex. Yeah, it does go up over 1, up 2. Yeah, it does work. Because we need to know what the vertex was. You're right. But you didn't need to know what the vertex